Right, just to, to give you some idea, so you can see, those sheds there, yep. when you're asking about hangars, they're the two across the road. Right. So they're existing, and they're fairy marine were in there. This was naval, so it was sea yeah, fires yeah. and sea furies. Okay, it's a navy base. And so everything was, was carrier based. So you are stood here now, uh, that concrete there, yep. okay, that, that runway there, is you were stood here. Right, okay. And then they built the N56 through the whole site uh -huh. in, in the 1970s, okay, which took out the original control tower. So the N56 now comes all the way across there right. now. But these hangars still survive. Those up there still survive, those big ones. Wow. And they're where the sofa warehouses are now. So as you go around the corner yeah. and, and around there, those on the right. So they're in use now. They're, they're in use right. as, as warehouses, but those big ones still survive. All these all these bases were named after seabirds. Right, okay. So this is Royal Naval Air Station Black Cap. This was treated as a ship. Yeah. And it was run as a ship. Oh, right. So uh, everybody, you know, at the gatehouse and everything, people were dressed in Navy uniforms. Mm -hmm. uh, and even I've got a picture somewhere of a guy taxiing a sea fire with the flat navy tight hat in so, wow. so they're even dressed different to the yeah. ref everybody thinks it's ref it's not it's navy yeah and on a saturday when they used to go on the piss into gratnall they used to have a lorry they used to take them all down they used to say we're going ashore and right. it's actually caught so it's run yeah. as a ship so yeah, yeah. going ashore and ironically more people died uh, in an accident back from the pub, the lorry overturned on the bottom of uh, the lane just as you come out of Grattan yeah. here, killing a load of youngsters that had gone on a Saturday night down yeah. thing. There were about three pilots, two pilots, three pilots I think killed here. Uh, one guy from Twemlow, or he was pilot officer Twemlow from the other side of Nutsford. Yeah. He, he was in a sea fire that took off and, and they got the controls the wrong way around. So as you pull back, it it's went gone down, down and yeah. forward. They've got the wires crossed. So wow. he took off from here and he ended up no, in the farm died. at the end of the road here, just there. So he killed himself, young lad. Wow. Um, and then there was another one, I think, as well, a sea fury. But actually more people died in the road accident with the lorry turning over than they did. And they're buried in the uh, Appleton Thorn. Unbelievable. Uh, um, yeah, there's a small there. monument there, isn't yes, there? Yes, there is. Yeah, well, you'll see that. the headstones. There's yeah, six yeah. of them. I were looking they're, at that. They're the, the youngsters that died, which is wow. tragic, really. It is, yeah, it, it is. It wasn't in wartime. It's just your show of drinking and I driving. Know. You it's, know. it's one of them strange stories, isn't it, as yeah. well, you know? It's... Those were the two sheds, Jason. I was showing you on the. Um, can you see them? That yeah, we I could just make at. them out. Yeah. Now they were fairy, fairy marine, because they they um, uh, were in Manchester, and they were effectively they were they built naval aircraft. Yeah. So they they were special. So those are the two uh, uh, fairy hangars that are there that you saw on that aerial view. Brilliant. So this is actually a perimeter track. The uh, fuel station was there. Yeah. Uh, where the where the fuel station is and um, in here were the engine test sheds, um, but... Through in, these woods, like, yeah. Yeah, in these woods, when, when uh, my son used to play in them, um, all the concrete buildings, but then we ended up with some people living in them. Right, okay, and, homeless uh, people, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, so uh, Shell knocked them down, uh, just came one night and flattened them, which yeah. was a great shame, really, because they were in really good original You'd position. think they'd end up listed, wouldn't you? You would do, yeah, you, know. you know what, it's, I agree with you, but it doesn't seem to work. So the engine testing sheds were here, and in the field here, you'll still see the, the concrete pad there, which is... Um, under this grass here right, is, okay. is a concrete apron. There you go, you can yep, see it. Yep, there we go, there. I can Look see there. it. Okay. So that's a concrete apron, and basically all the the, the aircraft, when they'd had new engines fitted, yep. were strapped down here and then run up for an hour. Right, okay. Full power tests. Yeah. So, um, the, the, you know, they would run them up to basically see, you know, that temps and pressures and everything was running properly. Oh, wow. That there yeah. is your, um, uh, was the um, air raid shelter for the engine test sheds here. Right, so okay. this is where those lads would have run to. Is that under this mound here? Yeah. You can see it there. Wow. Can you see the way in there? Oh, are you? It's still open, though. It is, can yeah. Can have a quick look? You can there? have a quick look, yeah. If you oh, want wow. To look at that, man. One of the original air raid shelters. How cool is that? Uh, 
get inside as well, guys. You can see the way the doors are angled, so yeah. whichever oh, way the wow. blast is. Just look at this. Proper air raid shelter. I mean, how thick are these ceilings, John? Well, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Look at them guys. And the electricity was in it as well. Oh it was, know? yeah. Yeah, if you notice the lamp fittings, I think there was there was certainly was switches and stuff when the kids yeah. used to play. Can you see any of the fittings on the ceiling like? Yeah, they used to be. Oh well, look at these here. Is your torch, Ben? Go on, yeah, nice one. Look at this guys. So these handprints, are they how old are they, do you think? Do you know I don't know? I've never come in here with a torch, so no. I've never actually. This... Oh, these are these will be. Rach is my daughter. Ah, oh, right. Okay, so she's got a bit of bit of, <laughs> bit of decorating. <laughs> but I don't remember uh, doing this. But they, these have been here a few years, looking at the way they're flaking off. Haven't yeah, they? yeah. Yeah, I mean she's thirty. Three now, so it could be. Well, looking at this from out there, then I thought it were uh, steel. It looked like steel, but no, it's concrete, isn't it? Unbelievable. So yeah. that's got to be at least a foot thick above that. I would say it? so. Yeah, yeah. They've they bolted it together and then they've they've, they've come over the top. Yeah. As well, haven't they? Unbelievable. I wasn't expecting to see this, pal. I'm uh, I'm, I'm in awe with stuff <laughs> like this. You know, I really do love love this stuff. Unbelievable. But imagine having a bunker down in one of these back in the day while all sirens are going off. Yeah. It's unbelievable, yeah, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But of course, it was you could run into any angle. Yeah. And if you notice the doors, there's no direct in, so the blast will run through. Yeah, and filter through, through like. Where oh, right. and come all the way through. If it yeah. comes any angle round it, it's 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 screwed so yeah, it's, it doesn't come all through. Right. Yeah. How cool is that, Ben? Brilliant. Such a huge site as well. You can see why it was built here as well. Can you see Mal Cop over there? Yeah. Stoke on Trent, and you've got Buxton there and the Cat and Fiddle in that gap. You can see the entirety of it, can't yeah, as well? Yeah, you can. So this is the highest land in here. It falls away down to Warrington. It falls away down to Liverpool and down to Crewe. Right. Okay. So you know they were strategic where they chose these oh, sites. Right. You know where they did. So of course as they take off, they've not got to worry mm -hmm. about that high ground surrounding. And originally, it was intended for the RAF, wasn't it? It was absolutely. So this is still a perimeter track. This is not, a, you know, for taxiing from yeah, the other yeah. side or from the hangars over there or from the engine testing unit. And then uh, this would have been a hold here, which is where the aircraft would have had to stop to see anybody landing. Right. Okay. Because this is east-west, with the prevailing wind being east-west here. So this is the main runway threshold. So wow. This is where they used to come in over here. My father and my uh, uncle. They've got box brownie pictures of sea fires and sea furies coming in over here with the gear down. Wow. Coming in over the end of the fence. So there was a guard house where you came into my house here. So this is now a skid pan that Shell built with water jets to spray. So no that way, could, man. Um, um, uh, you know, test cars spinning them around and yep. stuff like that. That is so cool. So you actually own one of the original Spitfires at Yeah, I had a Mark then. 9. Not from here, though. It was. Um, um, uh, what do you call it? It was an um, ex-South African Air Force, right. and I found it in South Africa and yeah. bought it back. But I couldn't afford to finish it. You know, no. even, even I'm all right, but you're talking multi. You're oh, I yeah, don't doubt it. It's, 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 would they have been used at this? Uh, no, they would have been up. folding wing stuff here. They had C five fourteens here, which were uh, sorry Mark sixteens. Yeah. No, sorry Mark fourteens, which are the ones with the five bladed props and Griffin yep. engines. They were the most powerful, and they had folding wings and wingtips. And what they did was at the end of the War, when they scrapped them, they towed them backwards down to British Aluminium at Latchford Locks, right. uh, and that's where they were all melted down after the war. Because there was lines of them here on my runway. There, I can imagine. There. I can imagine. They're all, they're all, um, uh, and they all had the designation SX. The, that was the Stretton, um, like the uh, aircraft designation yep. on them. So they had SX two two five. And a pal of mine has actually got one of them that was based here, uh, that he found in the scrapyard that had got buried with aluminium at the Hus wow. Depot back in the 1970s, and he still got that to this day he's been restoring it for 40 years wow it's down and he's in still Bucking, going down on in that. Buckingham now yeah uh, it's not flying but it's it's getting quite close 
but it's been difficult to restore because of all the folding wing mechanism. Yeah. Twice the work of a normal Spitfire mm -hmm. because of all the gear that yeah. goes with, with allowing it to fold its And wing. just finding the parts in general exactly. as well, you know. Because everything got melted down after the war, you can imagine everything, mm -hmm. this stuff was everywhere and it got... Well, I, I did view a little uh, mansion, apparently even the railings around that um, absolutely. part back in the day, absolutely. they were melted down yeah, for absolutely. ammo, you know. Yeah, that's right, absolutely. So this was the threshold for the main runway, yep. and then that was obviously a taxiway there. Just round there. Yeah, so this was a bit of a backtrack, which is where you saw. So this was, was effectively the, because the prevailing wind comes down from Liverpool down there yep. uh, from the west, east west. So this is why this is the main long runway. Wow. So we'll go, we'll head west. Now you can see the main runway, but you can see the track that Shell metalled yeah, in yeah. the 60s to test the cars on. Mm -hmm. So it's on the outer circuit, is, is the thing. So we'll use that and drive on that. But it's now showing its age. Oh, wow, yeah, I can see that. So, so that's the original the... runway there, guys. Jet age as well, so we start to see venoms and vampires land in here. So the wow. early, early jet started to come here as well, which is why it's long enough to take them. Uh, zero nine end, which is uh, zero nine two seven compass heading. So this is the uh, western end of it now. So you would land this direction in an easterly wind. Yep. So if you got an easterly, in fact. I'll show you Jason if you get your picture there now, you can, it's a good view and there's the cross on the runway because oh, after the yeah. obviously they were put on as, as showing as not active. Brilliant. Okay so this is the threshold now and you can see the Pennines in front of you, Buxton wow. there and Malcott to our right yep. so you can see how ideal it was for South Manchester where it was positioned, how it was. It is quite literally the, the perfect spot and, yeah. you know. So has that runway not been kept or anything? That is just no. natural decay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They they kept the they kept it up until the 1980s. They maintained the track. Yeah. And then basically uh, uh, fuels and oils by them were being developed in labs on computers. Yeah. So yeah. They, they'd gone away from long hand mm -hmm. of, of dealing with stuff. So some of these that building's original there. Some of these right. buildings are original aerodrome buildings. So would they, would they have been like barracks and whatnot? You know, uh, no, usually they would be like mess rooms and briefing right, rooms okay. and stuff. Yeah. The barracks were further away, so the people were where the prison is now. They tend to keep people further away from right. the actual, for obviously if it's going yeah, to get bombed yeah. and straff, you want your people yes. away from the, the, the... So again, you can see the cross on the runway, so this was your arrestor deck here, so there's the cross for that. And, and you've got Eddie Stobart's now on the other side yeah. of the runway where and the M56 cutting it in half. It's a shame they cut it off like they did, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, it literally cut it down the middle. And the north side where over there, Warrington own or Warrington Council have that, and that was industrial. On this side, this is Macclesfield Borough Council. Right. And they have gone for green belts. So you can see the two differences yeah. of, of the Warrington side uh, and the Macclesfield yeah. side with the two th thoughts of the councils. So. Well, that's another thing we, you know, the different boroughs we cover. Yeah. Um, you know, you can see the which, which can are, there, yeah. yeah. The you can see how they take the view. So this would have had a generating set in it. Wow. And effectively, if the place got bombed, there were standby generators at each ends of the runways uh, to power the lights so yep. that they could still continue to operate e even with the uh, with the main power so they down. Just kick in. So they would kick in. So there'd be a generating set that would run the run the the lights on Brilliant. on this one. And there is there's about five of those all round this right, area okay. that were obviously at the end of each runway to yeah. to, to light them up if if they, if they got knocked out. Unbelievable. Just the sheer scale of the place is... Uh... Well, you imagine how many men were here. Well, there's my pal's house. Now, that, again, was a mess room. Right, okay. Okay, he's turned it into a house now. Yep. Okay, so he lives there. Um, but it's still basically the same shape, like a letter T. Yeah. Um, and that would have been it's a briefing... That's typical for yeah, most MOD, of the... Yeah. yeah, so that would have been a briefing room. 
and then this here was the tower that was built once that one got well not before that got demolished really yeah uh, shell built this and this was their test center here so this sort of became the tower once the main one went yeah for the for the, for the aerodrome oh so, wow that's been untouched for a while hasn't it yeah so all, again this was the officers and they used to watch um, the cars going round and round and round and round yeah uh, you know and they would start in if you look here look it's a start and finish on the track oh can i do you mind if i film that is yeah, that all right yeah just got kind of going oh if you look there guys you can actually see the start and the finish from the old test track how cool is that man? the old tower there that is pretty cool man isn't it made up with this got it yeah mid low place take a little snap just in there if you see that jason there the the container there yep that white one that's where that's got a big fridge unit at the back of it and that's where they used to freeze the cars wow i say down to minus 35 so that they could see whether they would start yeah. the when they were the fuel brilliant pretty cool that and it and actually, i've yeah. got the movements book and uh, the u.s air force uh, when shell were um, they're lovely to read the day they had a day diary yeah of everything that happened here who came to test here bentley motors used to test here rolls wow. royce tvr from blackpool and um we've got uh, in one of the entries um i think it's 19 uh, it 66 um, a US Air Force bomber lands here with engine problems and uh, the crew had to come from Burton Wood because mm -hmm. Burton Wood was still active at that time and then fix it and then to fly it back out again wow. um, and also in one day um, somebody's put uh, all in nice old handwriting man landed on the moon today and you think you know it's yeah. uh, it just you know uh, history real nostalgia that yeah. isn't it yeah. so that's the back of the This here is the water reservoir. Oh wow. Now all the um, aircraft were dismantled down here. This was where they were all, and uh, when they, interesting, when they, they, um, they, were, they were trying to develop it, the, um, uh, the, you know, the lots of bits of aircraft were still sort of around here. Yeah. But they've all been got now with metal detecting and things like that. But mm -hmm. this, this is where they were all scrapped after the war. There's, there's got to be a couple of remnants oh, knocking absolutely. about though, hasn't there? Yeah, can we approach that? Yeah, 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 if you don't mind, please. No, you're Some scale that, isn't it, as well? Yeah, two of these, there's one on the other side of the road around the corner. Yeah. Get out, guys. Good swimming pool. How oh, high? So all this would have been flat ground there back in the day. And yeah, yeah. None of this, none of this shrubbery would yeah. be here. And, and that picture I showed you, if you mm -hmm. look carefully, yeah. and zoom in, you'll see a lot of the dead aircraft here. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. I'll have a look at that. That is cool. Very cool indeed. I'll have Blair you now, Gary. You got in me shot, lad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, John. Something I've picked up on. You are the spitting image of Stephen King. Have you ever heard that? No. You've I never heard that? Wow. I have to Google that now. Oh, wow, ah, yeah, definitely, mate. Just from a certain angle. I mean, I'm a massive fan of Stephen King. I read all books and... Yeah, there's, there's a certain angle I catch you at and I can see it, definitely. He's never said that. All many things. All good, I reckon, eh? Yeah, you can see it now we're approaching the uh, other shelter. Yeah, we've. It's usually pigeon poo for us, what we're mooching through <laughs> yeah if there is a lot of wind guys I'll mute I'll, I'll, I'll turn it down in a few few in a section just so it's not overbearing but look at this you can see more of nature 
taking it over. And there we have. Oh wow, we've got some original electrics on the wall here. So would that have been for lights and yes. whatnot then, yeah? Yeah, that they were illuminating. I can remember years ago the lights were still in, the bulkhead lights, but soon wow. the hunters are probably taken out. Yeah. And again, Jason, you That's see the thickness of the concrete wow. the reinforcing. So fairly decent protection inside one of these. Look at that guys, all the um, the chairs have gone now, but there's like old bottles knocking about, you know. You never know. There could be anything laying here from back in the day. You know, I could be here all day looking at this stuff. But yeah, pretty fair protection off one of these, eh? There's an old ball top there which looks turn that round. That looks pretty ancient, what do you think? Pretty cool man. That's definitely some part of an original feature there. I wonder what that is. Let's have a look at that. Do you reckon that is John? It looks pretty old. It's a um, it's a scaffolding clamp, I would have said. Oh, is it? Right, yeah. okay. That's hard to tell, isn't it? Mm. It's been here a while. Yeah, no, it's a scaffolding clamp. Look, it's one goes that way and that way. Right, right, yep, yep. Yeah. Just on the off chance, you never know. No, you never know, do you? But there's all sorts of little bits and parts, you know. So, the, would you run drills on here and all that business, do you think? Um, in what respect, sorry? Well, like, how many people would have been working on this site? Uh, Oh, you'd have to look in the, the, the... I mean, there's a book written about it. Oh, there is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but, uh, you know, probably, I would have think, you know, 2,000 people here. Wow. You know, it was no mean... Oh, wow. You know, it's had a theatre with its own theatre company. So they, wow. had, they, they had plays and stuff oh, like wow. that. So it was, you know, it was a big old setup. Proper operation. Yeah. You go back to Moulton now, guys. see what we're trying to traverse it's all like fawns and nettles come on Gary give us an outtake <laughs> nice one brother <laughs> Yeah, we believe you, mate. We believe you. Recent. Oh, it's been there a while. It's gone rusty, isn't it? It just shows coins aren't what they used to be, are they? Yeah. they, they, they <laughs> well, I see <laughs> someone doing metal detecting. They found a load of Roman coins, and the the prices that they went for was it's unbelievable. I did an old. Uh, council estate last week up in Salford like 150 odd homes every single one of them's boarded up it's funny I like that you like this stuff I like yeah. the earth and stuff is all that, well around. I do all that I do all that you know well this council estate we did a full tour of it like and, um, and once it's gone it's gone isn't it exactly yeah, yeah. I do the like the old pubs and I love that I look at look, I love the old pubs yeah and oh you want to see some of the ones you've probably been in some of the ones we've covered the the and the and the, the way they used to do stuff not like MDF now was yeah, it yeah I mean, no, those guys no. everything the wood the quality oh, of the tiling I did one in Bolton um, yeah, it's which, you know it's cr crying isn't it when you see the work that the man some done. of the stuff we've seen mate yeah. honestly the hand carved stuff of that is yeah, yeah, no, it's unbelievable. And it's just left there decaying in the yeah, middle of the high street and no yeah, one cares yeah, about yeah, it, it's yeah, a shame. That's right. And it's social history, isn't oh, it? Oh, are yeah. So. Well, John, I truly appreciate that, mate. No, it was a pleasure fine. to I'm meet you. Thank that's you for that. We weren't expecting a, a proper tour, you know. So. No, I said to Gary, I said, if you come back, we'll do yeah. it properly in the daylight. Oh, I <laughs> Instead of skulking about one for a bit of fence. Cheers for that, Mike. No, no, it's good. I'm glad you've enjoyed it.